Hello dear friends, Fisher here. So today we continue with our beautiful stories, The Power of the Spirit, uh, by Alfred Hosp, also known as Freddy, in the book. Now today, uh, Bruno is giving a, a talk, and then he saw like there's a mother and also a disabled daughter. And then she um, Bruno asks uh, the daughter, "What kind of what kind of ring are you wearing here on your finger? Can I just have a closer look at it?" And then the young woman remo- removed her emerald ring and gave it to Bruno. And then Bruno hold the ring in between his thumb and index finger, and he said, "Ah,、oh, a beautiful ring with a precious stone. How did you come?" By this piece of jewelry, and then the the young girl said, "Oh, my great aunt, give it to me when I was little child." And Bruno、uh, explained to the the young lady and also like the people around, and then he said, "There is a curse on this stone. No one in your family knew about it, not even your aunt." Otherwise, she would have got rid of it long ago. But this ring has therefore been able to burden the fate of your family for a very, very long time, and noticed, but all the more lastingly for that. And then the young lady said, "Oh, should I get rid of it, or should I destroy it in some way?" And Bruno said, "No, no, that would not solve this problem." For your for your connection with the ring to which the curse is attached cannot be broken by such superficial measures. You see, dear friends, the bad can only be rendered harmless when it is spiritually burnt away. With the help of the divine power, I am now burning away the evil that has weighed down this ring for very long. In its place, I am charging it with good, divine energy, so you can now wear your piece of jewelry again, and you should do so. For now, you will be able, you'll be receiving help. The ring is now an antenna for the divine power, and will remain so as long as you do not put it. Into the hand of any other person who has no regard for the good. In such a case, the charge will be used up at once, and the protection I gave you will no longer be there. But here, I must warn all of you, who, due to an overestimation of their own abilities, attempt to do similar things to what has just been done. Whoever does not know and does not see what is really going on here, will immediately be beset by the evil, and that is lurking here, and will then have to carry and enjoy it in their own bodies. So once again, never do things the consequences of which you cannot properly assess. Uh, wow! So this is a story about、uh, a curse, a curse on the ring. And okay, so this is a, a strange topic to the to us, whoever come from secular world. So we do not believe like、uh, the existence of、uh, in the spiritual reality. So basically, you're talking about a curse, and people just say, oh, ooh, whatever, you know, you're doing my talking rubbish. And then, but in reality, it's like we cannot perceive what we don't know and we don't see. So outside our physical eyes, and then how do we perceive that? Okay. So the argument is whether there's a curse or not a curse. Do you really know? You don't. Neither do I, because I cannot see the spiritual world. But here, as our dear friend Bruno has done, and he warned, and then there is a curse on the ring. And then that ring has been weighed down that young girl's family for a long time. So a curse ring is basically enchanted by the negative energy. So whatever the energy will burden you physically, mentally, spiritually, psychologically. So everything is energy. There's、uh, energy all around us. Any objects 
and it will be load up with energy, load up with charge. And often it just we because we cannot see, and then like we don't know. So, so basically, like uh, any object you have, you might have a ring, you might have a, a gold, silver, like even your your phone, your cell phone, the the forks and knives you use. They will have like energy. It's your own, your own energy. So basically, if you have a good energy, and then uh, the stuff like you've been using it will be like contain a good energy by you because it's under your influence. And then if the stuff uh, has been used by a person who full of negative energy, and then naturally like uh, the stuff like uh, he used. And could be anything like his personal belongings or load up his negative energy. So when we touch it, and then when we, often we do because we touch people things like especially you are in the、uh, service industry. Like I am self a registered nurse, of course. Like we have a physical contact with our patients, and then and also their belongings. They have to. It has to be this way. So it's a very heavy job for the, especially the medical. Professionals, and because we're dealing with the people's,、um, you know, sick people's energy, which is negative energy all the time, and then often like、uh, nurses, doctors, and then all lots of、uh, like、uh, most of us, we are not aware this energy exchange. So we touch like a very sick patient, and then by the end of the day, and you only believe,、um, you know, you get tired because uh, uh, you're working so hard, eight, ten, twelve hours a day. Or even longer, but actually,、uh, on top of it, whenever you touch any patient, because people sick, because the energy cannot be high. If the energy is super high, it cannot be sick. So it's very simple. So、um, it that's that's why, like,、uh, by the end of the day, lots of uh, uh, medical pers-、uh, personnel, like、uh, they get sick. And then the doctor gets the same like units like, of what they're treating the patient for. And then because like every sickness, they all have their negative energy. Every time, like every day, every single moments when we deal with、uh, the negative energy, you naturally has the energy exchange with your patients, and then you absorb that negative energy. And then like you yourself, your good energy will be.、Um, Exchange or be like a suck, suck by the patient, whoever has very low energy, and long-term depletion of your own energy. If you do not do any, the Indians, the Hindu might do puja and then to clean the aura, to clean the energy field, and then like of course you don't have to do that way. You can do other ways. There is、uh, there's lots of、uh, way of cleaning your energy. Cleaning your aura. So if you do not do that, if you do not throw up the negative energy, is、uh, pretty much in a way. If I have to use a parable, it's like you keep eating the junk food every time. You know, like because that energy, the negative energy, is a junk energy. It doesn't do any good to you. So if you do not get rid of it, and then it will burden your body, will make your body sick. And then that's why, like you have the the psychiatrists, like always dealing with mental health. Patients, they don't even make to the average age of、uh, um, average age of、uh, the man, like in Australia, in in the world. So the psychiatrists like have an average age of seventy plus, or even a treaty has an average age of、uh, longer than that. So and then you wonder why it just because purely they just working working very hard, or there's something else. Around it, and then we do not know. So and so back to what Bruno said is, and Bruno also said it's this negative energy, and then load it onto any subject, and then it has to be burned away. Basically, like you have to burn it away spiritually with the divine power. So of course, obviously, I don't know how to burn the negative energy away. So, but there some people do, of course, very few. So, but Bruno pointed out a way. It has to be burned off by the spiritual energy, the divine energy, the good energy. So, same thing with our sickness, like in the body. So, it has to be burned off by the divine energy too, and then it will be healthy again. And and then, so after Bruno burned off the 
the evil energy, the negative energy, and then he charged the ring with his divine energy, the good energy, and then the ring will serve as an antenna to keep absorbing the the energy, the good energy from God. So basically, like our human body is like antenna too. We receive the message, like、uh, we call it thoughts. And then we would like to receive the energy. So this all good and bad energy around us depends what we absorb. If we want to be healthy, we absorb the good. Otherwise, please do not absorb the bad. Otherwise, you just get sick yourself. So that's why it's so important. We always have a good thoughts and good words and also good action. And then Bruno warned also warned not to do anything what he did because、uh, out of、uh, overestimation of、uh, someone's ability, they could burden their own faith. So basically, yeah, burden their own life. And then he at at the last he said, never do things that consequences of which you cannot properly assess. Uh, a while ago, my mom、uh, pick. Well, she found a ring. Like、uh, actually, that was a, a golden bracelet.、Um, near a rubbish bin, and then she pick it up. I say to her, go and take it, give it to the police station. You know, give it to. She said, oh, this piece of gold. You know, like I want to keep it. I say, mom, you do not what like first、uh, energetically and then personally. You do not know. Who does it belong to? The person might have a, like, well, there might be a curse on the a bri- the bracelet too. Who knows? Okay, and then like she might be so ignorantly and give it down to something else. He, she might give it to me. Say, oh, son, you know this is a good one. Give it to you. Okay, so that's people do the the harmful thing, the stupid thing, out of the ignorance all the time. So everybody has、um, some certain ignorance in the in in themselves. So basically, we always mean good, but. Badly done. So lots of things like we're not aware of, and then it that harms us. So first, like I said to my mom, take it to the police station, and then like it it might be contain very bad energy. Of course, she naturally doesn't understand that, and then I don't believe she follow what I say. And also, I say to her, it doesn't belong to you. Okay, just leave it or give it to like、uh, you know, just just re- report it yourself. To the police station and give it to the police and they find the like the owner. I don't know. So sometimes it's kind of frustration. You have your family members.、Uh, they never really took what you hardly what you say. And even though they understand, they listen. They take a long time for them to change them themselves. And then they think like they have a gain something. That's often、uh, in life. We think, oh, okay, we got piece of gold. We can, you know. Pick it up, piece of gold, piece of treasure, and then we don't know, know like what this piece of so-called gold will bring to our life. It could be a tragedy too. So, your life is hard. Your life is always burdened. Don't you ask yourself why? Don't you ask yourself why I'm working so hard and then getting nowhere? Are you doing the right thing? And then again, so things doesn't belong to you. Do not touch it. Just leave it where it is. And do not do anything that you cannot assess the consequences for your own good. Okay, dear friends. So wish you have a good day and God bless.